So I'm gonna give you the full scoop. So here's what happened. I've never really driven a lowered motorcycle before and didn't really think it would be a big difference. Well, I was heading to work one day and uh, I was pulling out a sports authority and I hit this pothole. And before I knew it, uh, the bike was on the ground and I was uh, sliding. <clears throat> Picked the bike up, went home, changed and went to work. It wasn't a big deal. I was leaving work and I was actually heading back to Tampa to go pick up my, my tag. I had just left the traffic light and uh, I hit like a manhole cover that was kind of sunken into the ground. And you know, being the badass rider that I am and the hardcore motorcyclist that I strive to be, I picked the motorcycle up right after the accident and was like, you know, guys, thank you for your help and uh, have a nice day. I'm just gonna, you know, get home and clean myself up. Stop. You need to look down and check out your wounds. And so I did and I looked down and you could actually, if you wipe the blood away, you could see my actual bone in my knee. You could see my kneecap. And if you looked at my ankle, it was the same thing. I could actually see my, my ankle bone, which uh, was a new experience for me, even though I have gotten in a motorcycle accident before. So they did the cleanup and uh, they wrapped me up. They gave me a ton of really amazing painkillers and sent me on my way. <laughs> Go back and, and watch my video, The Missing Gear, and, uh, and I hope that that helps when you see these pictures, when you look at the video, that uh, you're gonna wear your gear because road rash is not worth it. You know what, I'm just going up to the store, just going to the gym, oh, uh, you know what, I'm just gonna go grab gas real quick and I'm gonna run back. Take the extra three minutes to save your skin, to save your head, to save your life.